Hello students, in this video we'll see how to use Fubini's theorem to evaluate an improper integral. Let's consider the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative y minus e to the negative 2y all divided by y dy. What we can do is we can recognize the top, the numerator of the six of this integrand, as an antiderivative. This is going to be the antiderivative of what? Of, of an e to the negative x with a negative sign x going from y to 2y. So if we recognize the numerator as an expression like that as an ordinary antiderivative, let's check and make sure this works. So the, the, I have a negative e to the negative 2y, and then the bottom line is going to be negative, so I'm going to have a positive e to the negative y. Great. And so now with this in mind, I can write this as an ordinary double integral. I can write this as the integral from 0 to infinity. The integral, well, x is going to go from y up to 2y, and then what we have, we'll have the antiderivative of this thing, so I'm going to have an e to the negative x over y. Let's check to make sure that works. Antiderivative with respect to x of this thing would be negative e to the negative x, so it checks out. And then I'm going to have a dy. So now let's flip the limits of integration, so let's sketch our region. What does our region look like? Our region looks like this. Here is the x-axis, here is the y-axis. The bottom limit is y equals x, that's y equals x. The top limit is x is equal to 2y, which is the same as y is equal to x over 2, so x over 2 looks like this. That's y equals x over 2. And so our region of integration looks like what? So I know that x goes from y over to uh, x equals 2y. So we're doing this region over here. So this is our region of integration. So if we want to change the limits or change the order of integration, we can go from, we can do these vertical slices. We can do this, like so. And so if we do so, what does this become? Well, in this, in this case, my x is going to go between 0 and infinity. And what my y go between? My y is going to go between this bottom curve over here, which is x over 2, and the top curve, which is just going to be x. And then we'll have a what? Our function is e to the negative x over y dy dx. Now the y antiderivative of this thing is just the log of x, so it's going to be the integral from 0 to infinity of uh, the natural log of y times e to the negative x evaluated from y equals x over 2 to y equals x dx. And what this is going to simplify to, well, if I plug in y equals x and y equals x over 2 to this, I'm going to have y, the natural log of x, minus the natural log of x over 2. Of course, that's just going to simplify to what? That's just going to be the natural log of x minus the natural log of x minus the natural log of 2. So that's just going to simplify to the constant natural log of 2. So what we're going to have over here is this is going to turn into, there's going to be a natural log of 2 from this expression, so I'm going to have the natural log of 2 and then the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x dx, which we can compute it, it's a very common value, it's the probability density function, we know it's going to be 1, this is going to be the natural log of 2 times negative e to the negative x from 0 to infinity, and indeed we see the top limit is 0, the bottom limit is 1, so the final answer is just the natural log of 2. So this improper integral converges to the natural log of 2 by considering it as a double integral. Thank you very much.